Welcome to Parsec. So, you can connect to your computer and configure it so it meets all of your workflow requirements. You're ready to get to work and collaborate from anywhere, anytime. However, at some point you may run into network issues and need to manage some more advanced settings. That's where all of Parsec's optimization tips and tricks come into play. In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know to optimize Parsec, so you never have to miss a beat. We'll cover settings that'll help improve your bandwidth, frame rate, and latency, and we'll give you some tips and tricks that'll help you get the best experience with the fewest interruptions. To get started, use the Parsec app to connect and log in to your computer. Then click on the Parsec Overlay button to access your computer's settings. Let's begin by talking about bandwidth. When you're working with a single client host, the bandwidth setting will control the maximum bandwidth that the host machine will ever stream to the client. Parsec is designed to be incredibly bandwidth efficient, especially when the screen is static. When there is motion on the screen, Parsec will use whatever bandwidth it needs to compensate for that motion up to the bandwidth limit you've set as your maximum here. When you have multiple clients connected to a single host, your bandwidth setting is going to be shared by however many clients there are. So if, for example, our maximum bandwidth is set to 50 megabits, and we have five clients connected simultaneously, each of those clients will receive a 10 megabit stream. In some cases, you may want to customize Parsec's bandwidth settings even further. For instance, if you're using Parsec for virtual conferencing for your game studio and reviewing a level in your game with 10 or 20 members of your team, you may need to increase the maximum bandwidth much higher than 50 megabits to accommodate for the larger number of client machines. This can be achieved via Parsec's config file in Windows. By default, Parsec runs at a variable frame rate, which allows it to be incredibly efficient when the screen is static or there's little motion. But this can sometimes cause artifacts with text or other fine details on the screen, especially when the screen is static. If you require a consistently clear image at all times, you can tell Parsec to run at a constant 60 FPS at all times using the constant FPS toggle in the overlay. We do not recommend enabling this when you're gaming or doing anything that requires lots of motion, as it may significantly increase latency. But for programming purposes or graphics use cases where the screen is mostly static and you require a clearer image in the fine details, enabling this option along the 444 color setting will give you the best possible output quality. Finally, it's worth pointing out that when the overlay is open, you'll also see the session statistics at the top of the screen. The session statistics show everything you need to know about the performance and connection quality of Parsec, and should help you if you need to diagnose any potential issues. The decode latency is how long it's taking your machine to decode the video that it's receiving. The encode latency is how long it's taking your host machine's GPU to encode the video. The network latency is how long it's taking both machines to communicate with one another. To achieve the best network latency results, we recommend that both machines are connected to their network via cable ethernet rather than through a wireless adapter. If you're seeing high network latency and one or both machines are using Wi-Fi to connect to the network, try connecting them to your network via a wired connection instead. The next item shows information about the codec Parsec is using and video format. The hardware label is displayed if Parsec is using your machine's GPU to handle the video stream. Otherwise, another label will be displayed to tell you that Parsec is handling the decoding itself. Lastly, the final label here shows the current chroma subsampling color space that Parsec is using. Let's take a look at the Parsec app settings on our host machine here. We can be connected to the machine and change its settings if we want. We can restart Parsec on our host machine by right-clicking on the Parsec app and choosing Restart. This will close the stream, and Parsec will restart itself on the host, ready to reconnect. Additionally, we can also restart the host computer through an active Parsec session should we need to, and if it's a machine-level user, it'll be available for connection once the computer restarts. 
we can enable machine-level user access in the Host Settings menu of the Parsec app. Scroll down to the Machine Level User entry and click Enable. For system admins watching, this process can also be automated through a PowerShell script. And that's everything you need to know to optimize Parsec and get the best performance for your streams. We have designed many features to help you and your team get the most out of working wherever you are. For more information on Parsec and using the Parsec app, follow the link below. Thanks for watching.